welcome to the National Indoor Arena here in Birmingham. Well, I don't know what it is about the contenders in this series. They just keep coming back for more. And of course, this will be the second time they face the challenge of our gladiators as they battle it out for a place in our semi-finals. Yes, this is the quarter-finals. Two more contenders to battle their way through to the semi-finals. And then who knows, maybe on to the grand finals and a share in the prize monies totaling £14,000. And then it's straight off to the airport as we whisk them off to Hollywood to take part in an international contest against the American gladiators before they swan off for one of those fabulous holidays of a lifetime on that beautiful Caribbean island of Barbados. <laughs> so let's meet some of our quarter finalists. They are Mandy Gorniski and Helen Williams. Welcome, Mandy, and perhaps you should just remind us what you do and where you're from. Right, I'm a recreation manager. I work at Taunton Swimming Pool, and um, I play football. That's my main sport. It is. You have a real passion for football, don't you? Yes, I do. I'm a freelance soccer coach, and I've got a Welsh trial shortly, which I'm hoping to succeed in. Well, that's good to hear. We'll see you later. Mandy Gorniski. Thank you. Now, Helen, you're a power lifter. Are you feeling fit? John, since the last time, I've been back doing my strength training as well as endurance training. Now, the gladiators might have thought I was strong last time I was here, but they haven't seen anything yet. Who have you brought along to support you? Well, I can see my mum and my little brother Richard and his wife in the audience. Cheers. Thanks for coming. OK, off you go. Well done, Helen. So while the girls have gone off to get their safety equipment on, let's introduce you to the two gladiators who are going to be chasing them. They are Lightning and Jet! <laughs> see you again remind us what you do and where you're from well I'm from Newcastle uh, I'm a gymnastics coach yes Newcastle supporters <laughs> and <laughs> I also know you have a small ambition to go and become a children's TV presenter is that right yes that's right I deal with thousands of children a week and I feel that I get on really well with children I'd like to work in television with children so are you good with sticky back plastic? Oh, no problem. Blue Peter, here we go. <laughs> well, listen, you've got to face the gladiators first. The very, very best of luck with you tonight. Are you feeling confident? Very fit today, ready for action. That's what we like to hear. Roddy Mackay. <laughs> Off you go. Well, Brian, you're in the RAF. Tell me, what do your superior officers think about you competing on gladiators? I think it's great. It's really good. Really enjoy it. Anyone here to support you? Yeah, there's all the boys over there, the wife's here, the friends, everybody. And what have you been doing to keep fit? Just the usual, running, cycling, swimming, doing my triathlons, a bit of boxing training. Just keep myself fit, generally. Are you feeling confident? Feel great tonight, John. Feel really good. Well, we'll see. Off you go. All the best, Brian. And our male contenders tonight are going to be facing Shadow and Trojan. <laughs> It does look as if the girls are ready for their very first event. So here's John Sachs. Thanks, Ulrika. Our first event this evening is Skytrack. Suspended 40 feet above the arena floor, it's a catch-me-if-you-can race around the figure of eight course. Contenders, ready! Pursued by Jet Helen and Yellow trying to outrun Lightning. And look at Lightning closing down Helen. Oh, Lightning strikes. See those sparks fly. Jet on Mandy now. Closing it down. 
Hits the detonator. It's not exploded. The whistle there. Referee John Anderson spotted it. In the replay, we clearly see Jet give that detonator three or four decent whacks, but it still won't work. I've got a radio like that at home. So after one event, both girls yet to get off the mark. Both gladiators living life in the fast lane, celebrating in style. Stand by, watch this one. Well, I'm not sure what Shadow meant there. His performance or Jet's aerial cartwheels, both of which, of course, are most excellent. Moving on to the men's event now. Gladiators getting into position. Shadow will be hot on the hills of Brian. Trojan will be trying to close down Roddy. Contenders! Gladiators ready! <laughs> Three, two, one! Oh, and look at Shadow go. 0 to 60, and oh my gosh, he's closing in. And Shadow strikes but loses it on the corner. Now it's all about who's going to take the flag and pick up the 10 points. And it's Roddy in the lead. Brian takes him on the corner. He stopped motoring, but his momentum carries him across. Stealing that 10 points, Roddy Pips at the post, picks up five in the replay. You see Roddy in front, but Brian accelerates to take him on the inside bend and grab maximum points. Shadows, believe me, the game has just begun. There are six more games to go. Then we will see what will happen. So after the thrills and spills of that first event, Brian's on 10 points, Roddy 5. Well, the next event, the wall, is usually the most popular with our viewers. Although I'm not quite sure if our contenders who have to scale it quite share the same enthusiasm. Standing at the foot of the wall is Helen! <laughs> and she's going to be chased by Nightshade. Also preparing for the wall, it's Mandy. She's going to be chased by Scorpio. Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. The only way is up, Helen and Mandy, with 10 seconds worth of free climb. As it's a quarter-final, the uh, rules have been changed to make them work harder for their points. First to the top scores 10, the second to the summit 5. And that is if the gladiators don't strip them off the wall first. Here comes Scorpio. Oh, she strikes out at Mandy, rips her off with one yank. And Nightshade's got Helen. There goes a shoe and a shot. There goes Helen. Ten points. A brother Richard going potty. As Scorpio celebrates on the left there, Nightshade stripping Helen of her shoe, her sock and her odor eaters. Well, Helen, where's your shoe? Well, obviously she had her foot. And I, I just tried to yank my foot out of her hand and the shoe came off. No Vaseline on your legs? I have a feel, John. Please, I'd like to. <laughs> Yes, yeah, proof is in the pudding. Yes, there's certainly no Vaseline there. No. Well, well done. Ten points. Well done, Helen. Always knew Fash was a leg man. So after two events, Helen climbs to ten. Mandy remains on zero. And getting ready for the wall, it's Roddy! He's going to be chased by the Cobra! Also at the foot of the wall, it's Brian! He's going to be hotly pursued by Saracen. Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. And the boys are up and at it, strapped into that safety equipment, which is tested to three tons in weight, which is just as well when you've got two man mountains like Saracen and Cobra on the end of them. Here they come. Oh, Cobra struggling. Old Snake Hip slipping and sliding all over the shop. 
Sanderson not very much better. Look at the distance as Ronnie goes over for 10 in a very fast time. And here comes Brian for five. Well, Roddy, yet again, a very, very fast time. Well, this time, I was on the opposite side of the wall, and to be honest, I was really concerned I wasn't going to get up there. But I did it. Get in. Ten points. Well done, Roddy. Brian, still very fast. A difficult man to beat. I don't think you were really worried about the gladiators, were you? Not the gladiators, no. Not up the wall, John. They're not quick enough. Always going to be difficult to beat Roddy, isn't it? He's a fast man up the wall, but I'll be there. You've got your five points anyway. Well done, Brian. Yes, After two events, it's 15 all. And new balls, please, because event three is Powerball. Mandy will be trying to slam dunk the pink balls. Helen's got the blues. Over to Fash for a recap of how they scored last time out. Well, John, in the previous round, Mandy got 10 points and Helen got 8 points. So let's see how they get on tonight. But guarding those baskets are going to be our gladiators, Falcon, Scorpio and Panther! Contenders, ready! Gladiators, ready! Three, two, one! Let's play ball. Helen straight through Panther for two. Mandy slips three in, centre basket. Power lift to Helen in the yellow, footballer Mandy in the pink. Oh, look at that takedown. Another two points there. One's got it in the arms, the other in the legs, and it's like the gladiators are getting it in the neck at the moment. Oh, brought the footballer down. Oh, what a long run there for the two points. Oh, centre for three. This is too easy. Contenders having it far too easy. And look at that, dismisses Scorpio. Another two. What a high-scoring round this is. Oh, it takes two to bring down powerlifter Helen. First decent tackle from Panther, and two on one there. Gladiant is taken by surprise in that first half. Outpowered and outmaneuvered. They're getting the grips now, but they're too late now. Both Mandy and Helen running the Gladiators ragged in that event. Let's see the replay. Fancy footwork from Mandy, the footballer. And she sells Pan through a dummy, and just like Gaza, sticks it in the basket for three. Well, look at the scores. It's incredible. I don't know how you two did it. Mandy got ten points, and Helen got eight. It's incredible. Yet again, exactly the same. How do you feel about it? Well, I thought that the gladiators would possibly have improved their technique. And I think they had this time because there's no just barging through them. I had to try and be quick and make it last, which isn't really my forte. <laughs> Sheer power is my, my thing. Well, you did well anyway. Thanks. Mandy, now you were a little bit worried about this event. You were saying that all the contenders had to be big and strong. You did very well. Well, I think because I'm a little bit quicker, I was staying out of the way a bit better than Helen. <laughs> but it helps to have the strength because you can get through them when they do get hold of you. So I was having to just duck and dive and stay out of the way all the time. But it was great. Well done. Well done to you. <laughs> Helen and Mandy. And let's hear for our gladiators. Falcon, Scorpio and Panther. After three events, Helen powers away to 18. Mandy shoots to 10. Next, it's the men. Brian and Roddy are waiting and protecting those baskets. His wolf. Trojan and Saracen! Over to Mr. Anderson. Play ball, Ronnie. Oh, what a quick takedown by the 
Wolf, and there's Trojan. You get the feeling this is going to be a different story. Ryan trying to get the blue in, but... Oh, that was good. Roddy with a red for two points. Oh, trying to go high. Wolf keeping the ball out of the basket. Roddy walks into a Trojan-shaped brick wall. Wolf brings down Bryant. Oh, and tries to go over Saracen. Big mistake. Out goes Bryant. Oh, Trojan backs it out. This is Powerball, chaps, not table tennis. And a squash job by Saracen and one by Trojan. says it all in the replay Roddy takes a vertical takeoff tries a drop shot on the basket Trojan fists it out of play oh what a great game that was that was a hard one you picked some tough gladiators there unfortunately Brian no points yeah you gotta try it's a, it's a bit hard with my 18 stone frame you know up against these gladiator guys but I tried out there they're good they're quick never mind Roddy do you need that gum shield do you really need it you certainly do these big guys can't off jump. And they <laughs> there's no messing about, they hit hard, but they play really fair. Really good. Well, there you are, that's something. Roddy, two points. Well done, Roddy. And let's hear for our gladiators Trojan, Wolf, and Saracen. Oh, I'll see you again. You think this is bad? You wait till you see me next week. There you go. Oh, you're the Guys making up for the girls' bad show, only giving away two points. Roddy's on 17, Brian's on 15. We're going to have a very short break, but don't go away when you can see three more events on the Gladiator! indoor arena and to part two well we've just set up for our fourth event which is called tilt you should know the rules by now and first up on tilt it's mandy she's up against zodiac There's Zodiac stats, and if we compare them to Mandy, Zodiac five inches taller, but giving away five pounds in weight. First pull. Three, two, one. And Zodiac knows she's got to get that table back. Oh, Mandy feeding us some rope. Oh, it's going over, and so is Mandy. Let's hear how Mandy felt after her two gladiator training days. The training, I was very surprised at. I started to ache in places I didn't know I had places, and I do quite a, a varied training schedule, you know, lots of different things. I don't just really work on one set of muscles or anything. I enjoy training because it's part of my job, but I'm not too crazy about it. I enjoy sitting down in front of the TV with a video or watching football, <laughs> mainly, um, and just relaxing a lot. Three, two, one! Second pull. Oh, and Mandy wheeling in Zodiac! And Zodiac didn't predict that one in the stars. Mandy pulls in five points there. Next up, our power lifter, and all the eggs are in her basket. Superior body weight and the bottom table. Next up on tilt, it's Helen! <laughs> and she's facing Jet! <laughs> Over to John Anderson. And Jet, although the same height, is actually giving away over one and a half stone in weight. Deep the stream. First pull. Three, two, one. Oh, Jet. Oh. Well, that was on the cards. Take the stream. 
Second pole. Three, two, one. Oh, Jet gets the table back this time. And how is Jet managing to hold her? Sheer determination. She's outgunned and outnumbered up there. Can't believe this. She must have super glue on her feet. Yes. Two points. Helen, you had absolutely no trouble at all with the first pull. Well, I have to say, I didn't want any trouble at all with the second pull, but she tried harder or something. She put an incredible struggle up and she managed to tilt the tilt board she, back. And that, that makes it very, very hard to pull them back. A little bit longer, but still it was good. I mean, for a, she's so much smaller than me, for goodness sake, and to put up a fight like that, I don't know how she does it. She's brilliant. Well, well done. All in all, you've picked up seven points. Well done, Helen. As Helen says, our jet is brilliant. Look at that vertical takeoff. So after four events, the scores still tilt in Helen's favour. She's on 25, Mandy 15. And first up on tilt, it's Roddy. And he's up against Hunter. Rookie gladiator Hunter has a commanding advantage of four inches and seven stones over Roddy, but at least Roddy has the advantage of the lower table. First pull. Three, two, one. Hunter gets the table straight back. And look at Roddy's face. He knows it's too much to ask for. Oh, oh, Hunter goes two. Now, how's this going to be called? The result of the first pull... A win to the gladiator, no points to the contender. That's fair. Second pull. Three, two, one. Hunter gets the table back. Oh, what's he doing? He's going forward. Roddy turns the tables, takes the big fella down and scores five. Tilt, it's Brian! And he's going to be facing the awesome Shadow. And comparing Shadow's superhuman stats, we'll see Brian is giving away four and a half inches in height and seven stone in weight. Take the straight. First pull. Three, two, one. Shadow doing. Oh, lying on his back. He was so keen to pull Brian off, he forgot to tilt his table back. He's paid the price. Brian can't believe he's felled Goliath. How does Brian rate the challenge of gladiators? To train the gladiators is the hardest thing I've ever done. I mean, I like to think of myself as the fittest guy I know. Everywhere I go, if there's somebody fitter than me, I'll go out my way and train with them until I can beat them and keep training. I'll think I've got a good strength to weight ratio. But this is one of the hardest things I've done. I've uh, been across the channel, so I'm across the channel in a relay. That was hard on the mind in that. But this is a lot harder. You're using every muscle in your body. There's so many different events this year. And it's hard work. I found it hard going. It's not impossible. These guys aren't unbeatable, but it is hard work. Take the straight. Second pole. Three, two, one. It's a carbon copy of the first pull. Shadow doesn't get his table back, and the RAF man, Brian, sends him flying. A shadow of his former self. Well, Brian, that was probably one of our more unbelievable events. I never would have thought it. I'm up there somewhere. <laughs> I'm out of here. Brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Just went for it, you know? The eyeball, give me the eyeball, eyeball back, and just pull like mad. <sighs> Didn't think I'd get him off, but I did. Are you going to be pleased with ten points? Love it. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Well done, Brian! Glad I didn't have any money on that one. After four events, Roddy's on 22, Brian 25.
Event 5 is Hang Tough. And waiting up on the platform to Hang Tough is Mandy. <laughs> and the first time on Hang Tough is the deadly Nightshade. <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. It's swing time. has represented her country for three different Olympics in the ruling heptathlon. She seems to have lost momentum. Look at that frustration on her face. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. And this is more like hang loose than hang tough. Nightshade more like lampshade there. More than happy to hang tough in the scoring zone. No threat whatsoever from Nightshade. Well, the referee has obviously deemed that Nightshade is directly in front of Mandy. And there's the whistle. Five points. Hardly worth hanging around for, was it? And the second of our female contenders is our power lifter, Helen! <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Contender ready! Gladiator ready! Three! Nightshade's past performance is anything to go by. All Helen has to do is swing past and she'll pick up the points. This is a bit better this time. Oh, the body scissors are on. Oh, can she lock on? She's there. Oh, power lift for Helen hanging on to a combined body weight of 22 stone. This is too much. Nightshade pulls off a first-class match finish. Ellen more concerned about Nightshade than losing there. Clearly winded. And in the replay, Helen lands on Nightshade, winding her, and it looks like an elbow in the face to me. See what you think. Unlucky Helen. Yeah, nearly yeah. held on there. What happened when you both fell off? Unfortunately, I landed with my elbow in Nightshade's solar plexus, I think. I that's think lipstick. That's totally. lipstick, that's is it? That's Nightshade's <laughs> lipstick. Yeah, I, um, I was hoping to just hang on, but it didn't work. She's too big. I needed a smaller gladiator on that one. Well, if I remember lightly, in the first, first event, you did very well. Yeah, that was just one-handed, two hands. I would have hung on to her, but old uh, Nightshade there, I'm afraid she's too big for that trick. Well, we've got a few more to go. Well done, Helen. So after five events, Helen stays on 25, Mandy moves up to 20. And over on the other platform, our gymnast is Roddy! <laughs> and he's going to be up against the wily old Wolf! As Wolf Howes, let's get some background on Roddy's gymnastics career. I was a junior international gymnast, uh, trained for approximately 20 years, and it came to an end through a series of in injuries to my ankles, but gladly doesn't affect me now, so quite lucky in that respect. Three, two, one! It's swing time! And Roddy gets a massive swing. He's in the scoring zone in two swings, and Wolf is right behind him. Or oh, I should say in front of him. Roddy one rings. Oh, look at that Wolf straight in, dives in, grabs him by the waist, 
That proves life for stretches. Oh, cheeky. Oh, Wolf's down and so are his trousers. Have you ever seen anything quite so silly in your life? A man with his trousers round his ankles trying to swing from ring to ring to a gladiator's platform. Brian Ricks eats your heart out. Now can Roddy get to the platform? Crowd split, some willing him on, the rest willing them off. Oh! Stretching all of our imaginations, there's the whistle. That must be a first. <laughs> a somersault with your trousers down. I think that constitutes flashing. All right, hands up, who wants to see the replay? I think so. Let's savour this piece of TV history as the wolf takes a piece of Red Riding Hood. But bet that's put a smile on Granny's face. Oh, Roddy. You nearly got exposed then, didn't you? <laughs> what are you on? <laughs> Wolf! Bring him back! Bring him back! <laughs> <laughs> that was a hard one, wasn't it? What can I say? Uh, tell him to leave you alone. Yeah. Oh, dear. That... That was good. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Well, how did you still cling on when he was actually... He was on your back? Did you worry? No, it, it's... These, the handguards that we use really help, but with the gymnastics, I've got good strength in that respect, so... I knew I could hold on to him if he uh, got onto me. Well, we've certainly never seen him do that. Well done, Roddy. Cheers, thanks. <laughs> well done. That was a very, very close decision. I was on the point of disqualifying Wolf for ungentlemanly conduct. By exposing him. Who you need to learn how to behave. <laughs> Wolf, this is happening time and time again. The referee's being unfair. He had pants on. go along with that. Next up, it's Brian will be hoping to keep his kit on. Three, two, one! Swing time! And Brian and Wolf both very fast. And they meet in the scoring zone. It's two swings. Wolf misses the body scissors. Brian keeps him at bay. ring and Brian doing a superb defensive job he's hung the wolf out to dry look how he keeps his legs high oh, oh. watch those legs in the face Wolfie all Brian has to do is oh Wolf has slipped thank you very much you hold on for those five points There's the whistle. That's what I like about Wolf, always the good sportsman, but at least Brian managed to keep his pants on. Well, Brian. Well, you've met the Wolf man. Just a little bit. Out psyched him, didn't you? Just a bit of climbing all over each other there. Well, you outlasted him. Yeah, it's how the strength there in the arms. He went up, I just kept climbing up higher. You didn't realise you could have gone on and tried to make it to the other platform. Why did you stop? Had the rings round and round the chains, and I couldn't get the momentum to get the swinging going. So unless you've got eight-foot arms, I couldn't reach the other ring. Well, well done. Well done, Brian. Yes, well done indeed. Great defensive moves with his legs, keeping the wolf at bay. And there's Roddy, congratulating him for the hard work. After five events, Roddy 27, Brian 30, here's Uli. And event six is Suspension Bridge, and first up, it's Mandy! And she's facing Falcon! Over to John Anderson.
So they meet in the middle and get straight down to work with those hammerheads. Mandy giving away half a stone and two inches in height to Falcon. Oh, look at that! Well, oh, Mandy dispatches Falcon, who flies the coop, taking both hammerheads with her. Well, this is worrying. If Mandy can hoik the Falcon out of her nest quite so easily, what will our 11-stone powerlifter Helen do? Speaking of what will she do, what does she do? My job's a medical rep. I'll generally go and visit GPs in the morning, which can involve a lot of sitting around. And then in the afternoon, I might go to hospitals. And this is all working in South Manchester. Um, come the afternoon, finish it. Never, ever before 5 o'clock, of course. And then I'll get on my motorbike, if the weather's up to it, and go to the gym. Three, two, one! Falcon taking that sideways stance, which must handicap her balance. Over she goes! And Helen dispatches the Falcon and runs to the Gladiator's platform, just like the rule book says. Oh, look at that, Helen collapses with delight. Let's check the replay, and you can see Falcon's almost got her back to Helen, and she doesn't really stand a chance. Helen more than ruffles her feathers there. So, both contenders adding 10 to their scores. After event six, Helen 35, Mandy 30, here's Uli. And first up in our men's event, it's Roddy! <laughs> and he's gonna be facing Hunter! Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. When these two men on tilt, the honours were even. Oh, that's tipped the balance in Hunter's favour. Rocky certainly went for it, but he was giving away four inches and seven stone to the rookie, Hunter. Interesting tactic there, Roddy, but um, it didn't pay off, did it? <laughs> I saw what you were trying to do. All or nothing there. Uh, big disadvantage, but I had a go. Well, well done. Commiserations, anyway. Well done, Roddy. <laughs> Next up against Hunter, it's Brian. <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Well, Brian using a different tactic meets him in the middle. Brian giving away six and a half stone. Oh, look at that. Two convincing victories from rookie gladiator Hunter. Clearly both Roddy and Brian found this a bridge too far. Rather disappointing there, Brian. I saw you try to go for his lower body to start with. Yeah, a momentary slip of concentration there. I nearly had him, but, you know, I'd like to go there again and get him again. Well, we these, will meet again. These guys are big, aren't they? They're big, uh, not as quick as those little guys. Uh, next time, I'll be back. Next time. Let's hear for Brian. No points, I'm afraid. After six events, no change. Roddy stays on 27, Brian on 30. Now all that remains, of course, is that dreaded eliminator. So don't go away. Join us after the break here on Gladiators. <laughs> This one's all about the stamina of footballer Mandy versus the strength of powerlifter Helen. Well, checking the scores, Helen's on 35, Mandy 30, so Helen's five-point lead converts to a two-and-a-half-second head start. Helen, you will go on my first whistle. Mandy, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one... For a place in the semi-finals, here they go, high and low.
body strength of Helen gets her across. The logs up onto the cargo net. Here comes Mandy to join her. And this one's going to be all about the legs. And look at that, goes into the lead. Another welcome appearance from Billy the Boyfriend there. So, look at this lead now. Mandy zips down to the crash mats. And should be good on the balance beam. Oh, she's off. The football is off. And look at Helen. Watch it, It's neck and neck. And look at it. They steam up the track later. The footballer should have it in the legs. But no, the power lift has done it. She's just ahead. Geronimo into the semi finals. Helen, you're asking me, did you win? Oh. Yes, you did. Well done. Congratulations. I don't believe it. Well, I thought you lost it there on the cargo net. Mandy pulled ahead of you there, didn't she? I'm hopeless on that cargo net. But it just shows if you just keep plugging on, somebody might make a mistake. This poor old Mandy, all power to her. She's fitter than me. I oh, know she's not. Sorry, John. I'm Harry Mallon and I can do it. Well done. Congratulations, Helen. Well done. Mandy, I'm not sure if you're aware how close that was. I stood on the sideline here and saw it, and it was incredibly close. Yeah, I know. I slipped on the beam. It's just my mind went on the beam. I knew it was in front. And I thought, don't fall, don't fall. And I just went. I went too slow. I should have gone a little fast and I would have been okay. Very, very close indeed. But of course, there can only be one semi finalist in this evening. In this case, it's Helen. It's been great having you on the show. Well, what a great event that was. Let's go over to the men's competition. And in the men's, Roddy's on 27, Brian's on 30. That three point lead means Brian has a one and a half second head start and he'll want to make that count. And Roddy, well, he knows what he's got to do. Brian. You will go on my first whistle. Roddy, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. The whistles, one after the other, as are Brian and Roddy. the rolling logs for Roddy, joined by Brian on the cargo net. And Brian is flying up that cargo net. And I'll tell you what, that was impressive. Now this one's going to be close, isn't it? Now the balance beam, Jindas Roddy should be good at this one. Oh, he's blown the beam! Same as Mandy. This new addition to Eliminator proving to be a problem. And look at this! The RAF engineer, up he goes, Geronimo into the semi-finals! Oh, and this has been a great quarter-final thanks to both contenders. Well done, Roddy! And look at that. First to congratulate Brian. Both contenders absolutely shattered. They've given their all. Whoa, Brian, that was a close one. What a close one. Good competitor, Roddy. Real fit guy. I knew it'd be close, but just had to go for it and go, go, go all the way. Was there any point where you thought you could pick up some time? Cargo net, John, my favourite bit. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I saw you on there. Yeah, felt really good up there. I thought, I'm getting you, get up there and just keep going. And you knew, that obviously, that Roddy on the beam, he's pretty quick being a gymnast. Being a gymnast, I thought he was going to have me, but he faltered for a second. And I just looked at the travel later, run for it. Get up it, don't stop. Well, congratulations, good contest. Well done, Brian.
suppose I can thank you for one of the more exciting eliminators we've had. Thanks, uh, this has been one of the best two weeks of my life. It's been absolutely fantastic. All the crew here, absolutely superb. We've had a good time and it's... I don't want to say goodbye to you just yet, but I'm going to have to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and well done, Brian. Best of luck, son. Thanks very much. It's been Let's brilliant. hear it for Roddy. Well, what a contest that was. But don't forget, next week you can see four more contenders when they face the ultimate challenge of the Gladiators. Hang tough because G-Force and the Gladiators return for more fast, frantic and fierce takedowns next. That's here on Challenge, whilst over on Pick, there's a 60-minute makeover. Do not attempt to recreate any of the events you have seen on Gladiators. Both contenders and Gladiators have been trained for this competition, and safety equipment is mandatory.